So Hunter Biden is back in the news with a new expose by a friend of Elon Musk, Matt Taibbi. He dropped uh, the T on Twitter just recently. And so Hunter Biden has been a focus of right-wing media ever since 2020, ever since his dad, Joe Brandon, started running for president, right? Um, seems like this happens when anyone runs for public office. Uh, people go start digging up dirt on them, digging like as deep as uh, they can go, going back way into their past. And honestly, everyone has some dirt on them, right? Except for me, of course. I'm, I've never done anything wrong ever to anyone. Or Bernie Sanders. I mean, the best they can come up with for Bernie is that he has three houses, right? <laughs> um, so Joe Biden was a senator for uh, several decades, and he's uh, not like Bernie. He's just a regular politician, right? So of course he's done corrupt stuff, right? Every politician does some corrupt things and like helps out their family and does like a little bit of nepotism. And has Hunter Biden done stuff that is ethically questionable? Sure. Unethical? Yeah. Illegal? That is a different question, right? So far, there hasn't been any investigation into Hunter Biden. There may be one in the works or one that's planned. Definitely, the Republican control of the House is going to allow House Republicans to run their own little sham investigation in, into Hunter Biden. We'll see how that goes, right? Of course, they're going to do something. Like with their uh, with their Benghazi investigations, right? To slander Hillary Clinton. So there might be like a Justice Department investigation into Hunter Biden. Uh, Joe Biden has not said that he would uh, oppose any investigation into Hunter Biden. So, so we'll see. There may be one like in the works, but so far, no proof of anything like actually illegal done by Hunter Biden has come out, right? But right-wing media has been hammering this story into the minds of their their soft-brained audience for for years now saying that like saying that Hunter definitely did many illegal things and that uh, Joe Biden directly uh, enabled and encouraged him to do it and benefited it from it himself. They say that, um, you know, Joe Biden is the big guy referred to in, uh, in Hunter's emails and documents that were retrieved from Hunter's laptop, which probably isn't even Hunter's laptop, honestly. It, that whole laptop thing is very sus. Right, the idea that Hunter Biden would just leave his laptop in a computer repair shop in in Delaware, and also the owner of the shop was legally blind and a Republican, right? So he had a motive to like help fabricate some evidence. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff in that laptop which is very uh, weird. There's some like some like uh, really messed up porn, like illegal porn that. Um, of course, they would want to slander, like, Hunter and Joe as, like, pedophiles, so there was, like, child porn on it, on there, which, you know, where did they get child porn? That's the, that's the real question. Whoever, whoever fabricated this evidence had to get it from somewhere, right? And some of the documents on the laptop were, like, obviously, uh, fabricated and fake, like, maybe... Maybe that's just how Hunter Biden uh, does his accounting, right? Is like is like on crack and just like writing down like, okay, this year I made this much money, and then this year I got this much money from this guy. But it's like very lazy accounting, like a word, like a word documents just labeling like like here here are the bribes that I got from this guy. It's like some of it is like very low effort. So in some of the documents. They say that 10% goes to the big guy, and there's speculation that it's Joe Brandon himself who is the big guy. Even 
the House Republican GOP Twitter account tweeted out, Joe Biden is the big guy when they announced that um, they were going to use their power not to do anything like productive or good, but to run a sham investigation into Hunter Biden and his uh, corrupt business deal, which maybe there were some corrupt business dealings, but like, who cares? Only Republicans care because they want to slander uh, Joe Biden, right? They don't really care about Hunter Biden. They are using Hunter Biden to get to Joe, right? So Joe Biden has been a senator for, what is it, like 40-something years or 30-something years. He's a career politician, right? He's an elder statesman. So, like, of course, there's going to be some corrupt stuff in there somewhere, right? I mean... Uh, every, pretty much every politician does something corrupt, right? Except for Bernie Sanders, right? Of course. Um, so, of course he's going to help out his fail son, who, like, is a drug, a drug addict and has never really gotten anywhere in life. Of course he's going to give him some, like, bullshit job, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, Hunter Biden is, like, a fail son, like a spoiled rich kid who, uh, who never, like, faced any pressure to, like, do anything with his life, so he just, like, degenerated and like became like a drug user of course um and like went uh wasted his life like partying and like doing drugs and having sex which i mean he had fun gotta give him that right he he know he does know how to party but you know you gotta get a job at some point right i think he um was trying to follow in his uh late brother's footsteps trying to join the uh the navy was it but i think he was on drugs when he tried to join so i don't think he got in yeah that's funny um oh man what it would it would have been so great if like bo biden had survived right because bo was like the good son right yeah joe biden has uh faced a lot of loss in his life right wasn't his first wife killed along with the? Uh, it was killed. They were killed in a car crash or something. Yeah, yeah. Joe Biden. Yeah. R.I.P. Feel for you, buddy. And now, like, uh, Hunter is the the only son he has left, or not the only son, but like the son that he has left. Right. So of course he's going to love that son. He loves Hunter in his own way, and Hunter is uh, he's trying his best, right? He, uh, he put on a suit and showed up at, um, at Biden's inauguration and several, like, events. So, Hunter's trying his best, okay? Just, uh, go easy on him, okay, guys? So a lot of guys in America become, like, listless, uh, like, fail sons who lack a sense of direction and purpose in life for various reasons, right? And... Often those people turn to like any number of vices, mostly drugs, right? Drugs and sex and like whatever. So Hunter Biden isn't really special, right? It's just that his father happens to be <laughs> the president, right? Of course, there are there are rich and poor fail sons. It is like a, a like an upper class or upper middle class phenomenon where like um kids aren't don't face pressure to like become anything because like their parents have given them any everything that they that they want so they don't feel like they have to do anything to succeed which yeah is unfortunate but like honestly joe biden has used his like son's addiction and struggle with addiction as like a connection, uh, a, a way to relate to some people, right? Like, when, during one of his debates with Trump, remember those? Those are fun. Uh, Trump was, uh, you know, talking about Hunter Biden because it was, like, of course, the own, the one thing that he, that he had on, on Biden, right? The one piece of dirt that he had. And, and Biden, Biden owned it, right? Biden said, yes, my son was a drug addict. He struggled with addiction. And he was just like 
a lot of Americans, like a lot of Americans' sons and daughters who struggled with addiction. And I know the struggle. I know the toll it takes on, on addicts and their families. So I can relate, right? So yeah, it doesn't seem like that attack worked very well. Of course, Republicans are going to think that all oh, drug addicts are like morally bad and like if you become a drug addict for any reason you're a bad person you're weak right for turning to drugs right that's what they believe so anyways where was i so since nobody cared about the hunter biden story outside of like right-wing circles nobody was like talking about it no media was covering it outside of like right-wing media so the new story that right-wing media spun about about it was that like yo they're suppressing the story the the fake news mainstream media is burying the hunter biden story because they don't want you to know the truth if you knew the truth about hunter biden you would be rioting in the streets demanding that that joe biden be locked up for the crimes that he's committed right which of course was there some suppression of the story by the media yeah probably but like part of it was like the, the story was bullshit, right? Like there wasn't really anything there. And also like people didn't care, right? I mean, like I said, <laughs> of course there was going to be like some corruption, but like, I don't know, people just like didn't really, the, the story didn't really resonate with them. Like it was very complicated or like the, the corruption wasn't really exciting. Like the story was that like, Oh, Hunter Biden got a job at Burisma, a uh, Ukrainian energy oil company, and that somehow um, Joe Biden pulled strings behind the scenes to get him that job, which got him a lot of money. And it's like, maybe, but like, but like that happens all the times in politics and like nobody, it's like, it's like too, too many points to follow for like the average the average media consumer, right? It's like... It's like, that's why a lot of, like, re Republican, like, regular Republican voters, when they're asked to describe, like, what Hunter Biden did, they can't really, they can't really say, they're like, oh, dude, he did, he did so much corrupt shit. But, like, they can't really explain what it was. So... So anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. So Elon Musk, just a few days ago, tweeted out like, oh, we're going to be revealing the truth about the Hunter Biden story and how the media suppressed the story and, and how the media is in the pocket of, uh, of the Democratic Party. And so it seems like Elon is trying to like deflect attention from like all the failures under him that happened at Twitter, all like the, the, like the crazy, uh, the crazy stuff that he's done over the past few weeks. It's only been a few weeks since he's bought Twitter, I guess so. Wow, it's been, it's been a wild ride. And also like the whole Kanye shit that just happened, right? <laughs> the whole, uh, the yay shit, how like he and a bunch of right wing dudes, uh, promoted Ye and said like, oh, this dude really knows what he's talking about. And then Kanye started saying like anti-Semitic and then straight up Nazi shit. And then even Elon would be like, okay, <laughs> he tweeted a swastika. He has to go. He's suspended for now, at least. So also the story is about how, uh, Twitter, uh, specifically suppress the story which there might be something to that but like why does elon care about this only republicans care about the hunter biden story right because you know only republicans would care because they want to they want to slander joe biden so it really shows like elon's uh bias here so anyways why don't we read the uh the expose. So Elon Musk, December, yep, 
uh, December 2nd, yesterday, tweeted, What really happened with the Hunter Biden story suppression by Twitter will be published at 5 p.m. E.T. And then, so boring and predictable. Yes. Some are saying, I see you are trying to distract from the fact that your love for Nazis is becoming undeniable. And of course, all the Elon um, reply guys are like, what has he said or done that's pro-Nazi? Well, first of all, there's a whole Kanye thing. He did ban Kanye for tweeting a swastika, but yeah, a lot of uh, far-right people and straight-up Nazis were, yeah, banned in 2013. Wow, that's so long ago. Oh my god, that's nine years. 2013 was nine years ago? What the fuck? So yeah, this guy was banned in 2013 and he just restored. Oh, this guy says, I deleted all the old stuff and I'll strictly follow whatever the rules are. Well, now there are, are no rules. Apparently, um, you have to literally uh, tweet like swastikas to get banned, right? So, yeah, Elon definitely seems to, to favor uh, right wing and even far right people. Uh, of course. Yeah. Why do Republicans care so much about Hunter Biden's... like, supposed corrupt business dealings when there's the obvious corruption of the Trump family? Jared Kushner got a two billion deal with Saudi Arabia, that's a lot. And then Eric and Don Jr., they stole money from Trump or charities, yeah, that happened. In fact, they did have a court case about that. And yeah, the Trump kids were found guilty and Trump and his kids were banned from ever operating a charity in New York State ever again, right? And funnily enough, there was a Trump Org 2 that just dropped right after that. So really funny, it's classic ban evasion, right? So, and then Ivanka, and there are 41 trademarks with China. Yeah, apparently um, China gets into like trademark uh, law a lot and she was handed uh, trademarks or something like that. So, and of course, I'm like, it, of, talk about Ivanka. Like there is no clearer example of nepotism than that, right? Like she was working in the Trump White House for the whole the whole time right like what reason does she have for being there it's literally just nepotism she only got the job because her daddy was the president right maybe maybe trump is like since his it's just the way he is like his brain is like melted and he's an old boomer who only like responds to like things that are familiar to him, right? Because his, his brain is like totally, like, like molded. Is totally like solidified in, in 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 its current smooth shape, right? So he like has to have Ivanka around at all times to like, I don't know, calm him down and like, just uh, just you know, tone things down a little bit. Otherwise, she'll be like, where's Ivanka? I gotta have my big, beautiful uh, daughter, my favorite child. So anyways, did, did Ivanka make $640 million as a White House advisor? First of all, why do advisors get paid that much? That shouldn't be a thing, but also like, yeah, there should be, like, nepotism laws. But, of course, like, with a lot of, like, Trump things, like, there are no laws against what he did because, like, nobody thought someone would be so brazen as to break those unspoken agreements, right? Yeah, so hopefully, like, a lot of these things will be encoded into law. I think a lot of... 
things have been. We'll, we'll get into that. So, yeah, apparently Ivanka got patents from China. I don't know about that. Yeah, I wonder if, um... If China made a deal with Trump to, uh... Give him and his daughter patents, so in exchange for what exactly? Yeah. Oh, and of course, uh, the PPP loans. Of course, the Trump family uh, did PPP loan uh, fraud, just like a lot of Republicans did. Oh, that was all Jared and Ivanka, right? Of course, Jared Kushner, yeah. The, he did a lot of uh, corrupt and sussy stuff, so. Yeah, and literally, uh, the Biden crime family was a thing, right? It was a- it was a thing that, uh, Republicans were saying, The Biden crime family is stealing this- this election! And the media is covering it up! Remember that guy? That was fun. Uh, right after the 2020 election, that was a fun time, wasn't it? So, anyways... Like... The, meanwhile, the Trump family is a literal crime family, like, they're actually doing actual crimes. Not just, like, corruption, right? Not just, like, everyday, uh, corruption that, you know, regular politicians do all the time. No, this is, like, actual, like, Like, yeah, uh, unprecedented, unprecedented levels of corruption. Of course, there's the whole, um, like, scandal, the lawsuits about Trump businesses inflating and deflating the value of its assets to get better business dealings, which is a pretty serious thing. Jared and Ivanka made 2.6 billion through their White House jobs. How is that even possible? Oh right, yeah, Jared was. <laughs> yeah, Jared got a job. And yet, why did he get a job? I think it's because, like, again, Trump likes things that are familiar to him. So he was like, "Ooh, who, who can I, uh, who can I give?" Uh, this job too. Who can I uh, trust with uh, finding peace in the Middle East? Oh, I know. It's a, uh, it's a uh, Jared, Jared Kush Kushner. I know him. He's a, he's a real smart guy, really capable guy. He was good enough for for Ivanka. He's good enough for me. Yeah, and he and he's Jewish. You know, uh, Jews make the best uh, lawyers. Jews make the best uh, negotiators. They're very good. Jewish people, I love them. <laughs> yeah, J Trump was like anti-Semitic in a weird way where he's like, uh, yeah, Jews, uh, <laughs> Jews run everything, but that's a good thing. They're doing a really good job at it. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, like a, it's like the boomer uh, kind of prejudice where it's like, they don't think that they're being bigoted because they're like, what? I, I'm, I'm saying that they're doing a good job. I'm saying that they are good at it. Yeah, anyways, yeah, I definitely will not be voting for Hunter Biden now, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Hunter Biden is like, is a nobody. He never held public office, he was never like, it, that's why they're trying to link like Hunter to Joe Biden because they have to, like, use Hunter's, like, shittiness to slander, uh, Joel Brandon somehow, right? But, like, meanwhile, Jared and Ivanka were literally, like, working for Trump's White House, earning, like, earning, yeah. How do you earn that much money just working in the White House? There's no way. There's no way, like, being a White House advisor pays hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, so you want to investigate Hunter Biden for, like, regular corruption? And then, 
but you don't want to investigate like the actual corrupt the, the real corruption that's going on yeah clearly hunter about to take a hit of the crack yeah this but unironically yeah giga chad hunter biden don't care about any uh twitter thread expose right he cares about crack and nothing else yeah hello suicide hotline i'd like to play in order yeah anyways so let's get to the actual twitter files now uh yeah i'll do i'll make i'll make this another episode on uh on my youtube channel so hop over that real quick